Hello guys, and wow, look at this, another Target bin video. The reason why I haven't been uploading many is because every time I went to Target, I either found nothing or stuff that wasn't worth a video. But now, I finally went to a Target that was pretty far away, and I found all these phones. Now this Target was, in, was like almost two hours away from me, so I can't really go back there regularly. There were more phones in the bin, but they were primarily like flip phones and stuff. In fact, they were all flip phones. I grabbed all of the smartphones that were in the bin. Now, I did like grab one dumb phone because I thought it was pretty cool. But there's other stuff that I could grab if I ever went back there, but I probably won't. Um, that bin was loaded, though, to the point where when I was done digging through there, because I grabbed some phones on the way. So I grabbed some phones on the way and went to the electronics department to take a look at the um, iPhone 13s and the new iPads and stuff. Then on the way out, so then I on, went on the way out, got four more phones, and when I went to close the bin, it wouldn't even close right because the bin was so full. Like, that bin was loaded. I could probably have gotten 20 phones if I got all the flip phones, but I wanted to get, like, the best or nicest ones. So I'm, I'm going to do this from worst to best. So the worst find is this, it's a weird Motorola dumb phone. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, that's why I took it. I don't have the charger. Um, but yeah, this was like the last thing I grabbed from the bin. There were a lot of Motorola phones in there. After that is this weird Samsung sliding phone. It does not turn on at all, and it's missing the battery and a couple screws. Like, there were screws rattling around in the battery compartment. This thing shows no power whatsoever, so it's dead. I might just smash it, to be honest. Coming up next is this iPhone 4S that has been disassembled before. It's missing the bottom screws, and instead of the charging port being black, it is white. Anyway, when I pressed, when I turned it on, it was actually on iOS 5 or 6. Now, there are faces on the wallpaper, so I'm covering up the faces for to protect the privacy of the original owners because I can't reset this. There is... It has a dead touch screen, and I don't really feel like fixing the screen. It's, um, yeah, almost... Oh, wait, I forgot. You can't just turn this off. Because of the fact that the, the button is broken. The power button's broken. Um, this is some Motorola Droid, I think. Um, it does not, or it does work, but it has a passcode. Now, it's in mint condition, so I don't know if I'm going to try to fix it or not, to be honest. Um, like, I don't know if I'm going to reset it or not because I mean it is an older phone but at the same time it's in like mint condition coming up next is this Motorola I think it's an E5 play um, this thing has no battery but it does show the battery charging sign when I plug it in it might not do it because my micro USB charger is kind of crap like it's really loose in all these phones it's loose in every there we go it's probably just gonna boo loop oh okay yeah see it's really loose in every single micro USB charging port phone I have. And I think this is this is an original Moto E. Or no, Mo, not Moto E. Moto G. Now, this one fully works. Now, this phone is nostalgic to me because um, before I, I did, like, I knew about phones and stuff. I was just curious about, like, oh, what was in this bin that said MP3 cell phone? Like, I was, like, five. I was, like what, nine years old? I knew nothing about phones. In fact, I, at that time, liked cars and trucks and just normal stuff that little kids like. Um, but I was curious what's in the bin. And, um, well, my mom wasn't looking. I managed to pull this out, but she glanced over, saw it, and made me put it back in because she thought it was stealing at the time. But, yeah, I think that would have, that was like a pretty long time ago. That probably would have been a decent find back then. So I'm a little annoyed about that, but at least I now have one for my Motorola collection. I do actually like these sort of mid-older, newer, at the same time Motorola. They're pretty nice. Coming up next is this Motorola G3. I might, I'm, I'm really, like, I wish it was, I wish these were customized my Moto devices, because those look sick. This also fully works, in fact. Oh, it's dead, but this one fully works. Like, it didn't even have a password on it. I just removed the Google accounts. And reset it. These two Motorola's were owned by the same person. But yeah, both of them fully work. Nothing wrong with them. And I think they're in mint condition too. 
Yeah, these are in mint condition, and they fully work, which is nice, because... Actually, this has a deep scratch on the screen, but it doesn't even come up on camera. Other than that, they're mint. Now, this Moto G4 is not mint. It is in near mint. It's got a couple chips on the back panel where someone would have pried it off. But, um, yeah, it's got this weird sticky thing in there. It's got weird sticky stuff in there. I, I'm going to clean it off soon. This was owned by the same person as this one, I know it, because the same kids were on the wallpaper, and the same emails were, um, in there, but, this is a fully functioning Moto G4, now, I installed my own custom launcher, I, I installed a lawn chair, because I think it looks really nice on these phones that have ugly icon packs, but yeah, pretty nice, Moto G4, near mint, the best find and probably the strangest phone I have ever found, or at least the strangest Samsung, is this Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. That's not normally a strange find, but I'm sure as you know from the title, this is not your normal S6 Edge. This S6 Edge is on Ola. I think it's Ola G. But Ola G is not an American carrier. It's actually from North, or not North Korea, it's from South Korea. Now, that is pretty cool. In fact, it's got lawn chair on it, because I don't know how I feel about the regular icon skin. Better turn the brightness down a little bit. Now you can see it better, but it's still got the OLED apps on it. I did reset it. It had no password. And when I pulled, like, this was the first thing I saw in the bin, because when I walked up to the bin, I thought I saw, I thought I was, uh, like, I saw, I thought I saw nothing. But I moved a plastic bag over, and I saw this, and I immediately knew that it was going to be a good bin. Now, I knew that something like this was coming up very, very soon, because I would not found anything at Target for a really long time. And I was waiting for a bunch of, for me to find some really, some nice phones in a bin, but I didn't know when that would happen. But yeah, but when I saw this bullet point, I surely thought that the AMOLED would be cracked, and this thing would be completely dead. Now, even if it was completely dead, I was obviously going to keep it because of, like, the Korean carrier thing, but... Yeah, I always love finding phones from a different country. I've only found two phones from a different country. One of them was a Nokia from Arabia, and this one is a... And I knew it was a Nokia was from Arabia because I had an Arabian keypad. And this one is from South Korea, and I really like that. Um, but, yeah, definitely some pretty nice finds... A lot of fines. I'm still waiting for when I beat Carson Folio's record on those 30 phones, but yeah, um, there was one target that I got banned from, and if I just got all the phones at once, I probably could have gotten really close to that record, but it was where, so if you look at my first phone collection, or my, like, my older phone collection video with the blue phone in it or something, you'll see in one of them there's an S6, but it's not an S6 Edge, and the AMOLED was broken, but the screen was fine. And I was really annoyed about that. So I thought that if the S6 Edge can't even handle, or the S6 can't even handle the screen being cracked a tiny, with the screen not even being cracked and having the AMOLED broken, I guess this would break. But I did hear somewhere that somehow the S, like the Edge phones were a little durable in terms of AMOLEDs for some reason. But yeah, I'm super happy with everything I found. And I was waiting for me to find something cool like this. So... Without further ado, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.